Um, on the side shelf is an antique key. It's really big. Okay. It's like bigger than the keys used for this house. Mm -hmm. And finally, in a bottom drawer, there are a few um, pre-revolutionary documents. Mm -hmm. And there is a letter written in a language you don't recognize. What languages do you speak besides English? Um, Any? You should be under other languages. I could. Oh, okay. You can make a roll. Do you speak any other languages? Do you put nope. points in? Okay. Well, you can each make a roll. It's one percent chance that you'll recognize at least the language. Well, I did. Well, I did um, spend time in um, Europe, so maybe a bit of uh, French, a teeny bit of German. <laughs> well, very teeny. Forty percent. Make it. It's a zero one percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead and make a roll. We'll see if yeah. you recognize. Can pick out some of the words. Got a seventy six. No. So um, like, it's written in another language. Uh, it's it uses. Um, Roman letters, mm -hmm. obviously, so it's not like Russian or Chinese or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But you don't recognize what language it is. Mm -hmm. So that might be something to do some research on as well as if you, if you so desire. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she finished reading. You took the letter. You looked over it. Mm -hmm. Were you heading for the fireplace then next? Yeah, I'm going to go okay. ahead and do another sifting. Yeah, that smell is getting worse. As over I walk closer side. to the Yeah, practice. yeah. There's a, there's a weird, something's dead. It smells like a dead animal or something. And make me another spot hidden. And you can make one too, Caitlin, as you walk over. Seventy on forty. Dang it, we don't okay. know anything. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't notice anything on you. Um, but there there is a really, really awful smell on this side of the room. You go down, you pull your dirty gloves back on, you start sifting through he's sifting through the ashes again to see if he can find anything. Uh, which you don't. There doesn't appear to be anything in here. It was just wood ashes. Um, make another spot hidden. You can both make one. Mm -hmm. 75 and 25. Um, 79 over okay. 45. <laughs> the smell um, seems to be coming its strongest over in this corner. <laughs> we check out the corner. Okay. You start to search the corner. You're trying to figure out the stink. It's just, it's very strong over here. And it doesn't take too long to find a, um, looks like there's a corner that, there's oak paneling on this wall. And it looks like uh, a corner that is loose and pried out a little bit from the wall. I'm gonna say, uh, see if I can just conveniently pull it off. You still have your gloves on, because who cares? <laughs> Yeah, you could get your fingers under there, and you could probably pull it back if you so desire. Mm -hmm. Now, would I need to make any sort of like a um, appropriate appropriate uh, roll uh, roll about that, or no, not yet. Okay. Awesome. So he's found a spot, and he's grabbed the wall. Mm -hmm. um, you're it's you're kind of behind him right now, aren't you? Or like what the hell? I mean, is if, if, like the way he's pulling. Yeah. Okay, you're looking over your shoulder. That's exactly what I wanted to know. Whether you were there or whether you wanted to be on the other side. He pulls it open, it comes away from the wall with a creak, mm -hmm. and um, in a rush of warm, fetid air, a corpse drops out from behind the wall. It just falls right on top of me. Oh, God. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, good, good. Here you go, here's an idea of what it looks like. Oh, oh wonderful. Falls out from inside the wall. Now, uh, first off, I'm gonna need each of you to make a sanity check. <laughs> That's percent or less on whatever your current sanity is, whatever's circled. Okay. And so you guys have really good sanities, unfortunately, so I don't think I'm going to drive y'all crazy. 37. 37 is 47. Oh, 47. Okay, so neither of you lose any sanity points. Um, however, I will also need you to each multiply your constitution times 3. Okay, 21. Okay. And you want to roll less than that on percent or because the smell oh. is awful. Oh, you almost made it. I failed horribly. You failed too. Okay. You <laughs> both feel. Get or something. I guess. Yes, lunch is coming oh, up. No. Um, and I'm gonna let you make each one more con times three to see whether or not you actually puke. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> I I lose it. Okay, so both of you back away from this corpse that has just dropped out. The stench is awful. I don't know if you've ever. You know what did animals on the road smell like after waiting. Yeah. This is ten times worse than that. Um, you both find your own little place where you can <sighs> and you get and you're ill. You basically puke in the corners and lunch comes up and the tea comes up. I'm just gonna grab one of these women. There's the corpse right there. What are you doing laying on the ground? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna lay here and puke. Um, 
Yeah, it's the smell is awful. There's a dead body there. This is, somebody's dead. What are you guys doing? You've vomited and uh, <laughs> your stomachs are empty. Yeah, and probably you've and you've wiped your mouth and your nose with your with handkerchiefs uh -huh. and are probably holding them over your yeah, faces at this that. point. Um, well, I'm gonna see how close I can get to the corpse without feeling sick again. If you keep your mouth covered and and don't breathe too heavily, um, plus you probably have some perfume in your purse. You could probably douse some of that onto yeah onto the onto the um, onto your handkerchief and get over here. It's face down right now. It fell face forward down onto the ground. It's le it's ob it's obviously a dead man. <clears throat> um, I'm trying like. I mean, you have the gloves on, so, yeah, so I'm making yes, a suggestion does. to okay. you to pick it up. And yeah, I'm gonna make a uh, little spot check, see if I can. Uh, well, I'd like to uh, see if uh, if there is. Well, at least I guess the, his face is probably a little decomposed. So I'd like to see if I can maybe check through a couple of the pockets that aren't like just like okay. right underneath him. He doesn't have anything in his pockets, mm -hmm. but you do notice that there is a ring on his. On his right hand, mm -hmm. on his ring finger, um, it's covered in like gunk mm -hmm. from the bottom, but it's definitely a good sized ring. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna. Well, I've still got my gloves on, so I'm mm -hmm. gonna kind of like take the hand and uh, see if I. Can, well, I'm not gonna try to pull it off, but I'm gonna see if we can see any like uh, like uh, particularly showing uh, like any like distinguishing features of it. Like uh, it's a Boston University class ring. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no writing on it besides the Boston University. There might be an inscription on the inside, but that means you will have to take it off. Uh, I think that I'll see if I can um, pull it off without just... Yeah, you can. You're not going to pull the finger off. <laughs> just uh, you pull it off, you try to wipe, you kind of wipe it out. These gloves are probably, you're going to probably want to throw these away. Yeah, these gloves are good. Um, there is an inscription. It reads, B. Timmons, class of 16. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what this means. What year is it now? It's now it's 1925. Um, Brian did graduate from Boston University in 16. But why is this guy wearing Brian's ring? Yeah, that's right. Um, the features of the face do resemble Brian very closely. Do they resemble the wood part of the what? Timmons? Yeah, because they both look the same. <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whoever it is does appear that he was a young man, uh, same cut and color of hair as Brian's. Um, the woodcut of Timmons, it's hard to tell. He was probably, it's impossible to tell what color his hair was, or Douglas Timmons. And the fact that in the woodcut he was wearing a wig, obviously, that was in fashion at the time. Mm -hmm. um, so, could it be possible that this guy is and the other guy in the same hair is a fake? I'd like to also check the little. Uh, Looked like Brian in the sanitarium. The little area of the um, the, the little area behind the panel where the body. Yeah, it's it's, it's like uh, it's just a it's an area that's in the wall and um, it's like two feet deep and a little under five feet high um, and then just barely wide enough that this corpse could fit into it. It was just a panel that obviously was supposed to be removed and placed back in place. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing in there. The smell, after you look for a couple seconds, you have to back away and get a couple breaths of fresh air before you can come back over. Mm -hmm. uh, the corpse barely would have fit in there. It was obviously just leaning right up against the panel. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of pushed it by whoever. Yeah, What's somebody sh just shoved the corpse in there. It's okay, babe. It's okay, sweetie. Well, yeah, I, I encourage her to bark too because <laughs> I like the fact that if somebody comes around, I know. Yeah. Just neighbors. It's just neighbors. <laughs> You're so cool. Okay, he's backing up completely now. <laughs> Don't hit this corpse thing. Don't hit it. Yeah, I'm kind of like, okay, let's go investigate somewhere else in the house. Okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> uh, the only thing left in the house, there's a kitchen with a few cooking utensils and a very moldy half loaf of bread on the counter and there's an empty cloakroom. Basically, here's the... There's the rest. We've got the back door. Here's the cloakroom right there. And then this area over here is the kitchen. Um, this isn't 
exactly the scale. This is there's a closet or something there. Uh, the stove is in the interior, and there's some the shelves and cupboards and junk. And you search the kitchen thoroughly and find nothing in there. Okay. So that's also nothing in the clo clo coat closet. No, no, it's empty. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so... This smell is much better in the kitchen, <laughs> even with the moldy bread. Let's go out the back door. And okay. See. Um, you can unlock the back door with that same key that you used in the front door. Oh, and these are old key. type locks, mm -hmm. so um, the door will latch, but, you know, it's got a big key underneath on the, the key plate below. Okay. Uh, you walk out back, the air is so fresh and clean out there compared <laughs> to the house, and there's a corpse in the freaking house! Um, Should we call the police? Is there a phone at the residence? No. There's not even electricity Should here. It looks like they used candles. No, I feel like I'd be hysterical. Okay, yeah. then play. Have fun playing. Okay. <laughs> you didn't lose any sanity. Remember, you're, you right. have a really high sanity, so Still she sane. might be a little off, but that, that also kind of indicates your mental strength, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you can handle shocks like this much better than most people. And same with you. Sim 5 is really good. 80 is amazing. Those are great. Those are great sanities. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... But you can still be shook up and play that up if you want. <sighs> well, what do you think we should do about this body? I say, we go back to town. We don't go back in the room because it's going to smell horrible. <laughs> but we go back to town. Conveniently uh, call up the police. Uh, get them to come out there. We don't need to really... Uh, stay around the house too much. Just make sure that uh, they know there's a slightly very decomposed body in there. Uh, are you going? Are you talking about making an anonymous phone call? Or? Yes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to involve myself with the police more than I <laughs> And I could explain to her that uh, certainly any sort of investigation would get us kind of stuck in one place. Okay. Yeah, you guys can do that. Does that plan meet with your approval, Kate? Okay. You have the book, or the diary, mm -hmm. that you found. You have, I'm assuming you kept the letters that were written in the language you don't understand. Mm -hmm. um, you have the key. I have the You still have the, and that big key, yeah, that big giant key that you found. And um, probably all the pre-revolutionary paperwork, you grabbed those too. Mm -hmm. So the only thing you left in the house was <coughs> some of the history. Oh, okay, sweetie, it's okay. Shh, you're all right, it's okay, good girl, good girl. <laughs> um, the only thing that you probably left in the house were the the history books. Okay. And you really didn't see a use for them anyway, right, as far history. as this goes. So you go back around to the car, uh, crank it up, drive into town, mm -hmm. into Woonsocket. It's a good size. It's it's a small city, so there there are telephone booths in every drugstore. There are telephone. There are quite a few telephone booths around, so you could make a phone call from any telephone booth to the police, mm -hmm. and to report that there's a dead body in the house. Did you lock the front door and the back door again? Just leave them open. Uh, I just left them open. Okay. Um, and they, they they will question you and they're saying, well, who is this? And you just hang up the phone and mm -hmm. walk out of the drugstore and get back in the car and drive away. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, 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 it's a little easier to trace a call since you have to use an, uh, in anything but a big city, you have to use an operator. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it takes a while for the cops to get into place. So yeah. there's no little or no chance that they will have even a vague description of you, except yeah, so maybe we, your height. And so we can keep uh, traipsing off to Bongo Bongo Land. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so where do you want to go, and what do you want to do next? Um, You've reported this corpse to the police. I want to go see Brilliant. Okay, you go and see him in the sanitary? <laughs> sure. You've also got a diary to read, don't forget that, mm -hmm. and some letters to potentially translate, which mm -hmm. could be useful or not. Mm. Well, maybe I will go to the library and try to translate the letters. Okay. The diary's in English, too, so you can also split your work, and he, you could read the diary if you wanted in that time mm -hmm. while you go to the library. Or you could both go to the library and both do different things. Um, what's the call? Um, yeah. Jack? Well, I could uh, take a look through the uh, diary, uh, see if there's anything there that kind of catches my eye okay. in terms of okay. fine reading. Okay. And are you, I mean, are you going to the library with her yeah, to do it there? Yeah. Okay. So and which library? Did you want to go down back to Rhode Island or back to um, Providence, uh -huh. or did you want to find some place in in Woonsocket? Woonsocket. Okay, you find a library in Woonsocket. It's a it's a good sized library. 
Uh, they have a good research section with the, uh, different languages, so you start working on this letter that mm -hmm. you can't read. You sit down in the reading section with the, the diary and just start working your way through it, trying to find anything interesting. Um, it, it, it ends up taking you about three hours. Um, let's do a, a library use for you, and that'll determine whether you get it pretty quick or it takes you a long time to translate this thing on your own. Okay, 76 out of 65. Okay, so it takes you almost three hours to translate. <laughs> it's a real short letter, but you don't want to ask for help. Right. Just because this has gotten, there's a corpse. You've, you found a corpse. It's yeah. kind of strange and it's kind of creepy. Yeah. Um, okay, so here's what the translation that you can get out of after three hours of work. Um, I'm going to give you this afterwards, but I'm going to read this out loud. Um, the most important piece of information you get after reading this, this thing for about three hours is that Brian was very interested in his ancestor, Douglas Timmons, who was run out of Salem in colonial times for, quote, loathsome and unchristian practices. Um, there is a location of a secret grave of Douglas Timmons about a half a mile east of the farmhouse, and instructions on how to easily get there. Uh, the last thing of interest is there is an old tower near the river about half a mile to the south of the same house, um, 200 yards from the river bank. And his interest in the tower is not explained in the diary. And that's pretty much all the information that's on there. Okay. And then Caitlin, you've gotten the translation of that, so you can um, share that with him or read that to him or however you want to. Yeah, I think let's share it together. Okay, here are Timmons. I trust this last shipment has been suitable. I am pleased to have been some s of some service to you and hope that it will help you decide whether to accept my offer of induction into the organization. I expect your response to my offer within the month. Hail Yosof <laughs> Baron H. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but if you want to see it. And this is an old letter, okay. probably over a hundred years old. Right, so definitely not recent. No, no, definitely not. The paper is like parchment almost, mm -hmm. and uh, very old, very scurvy. Mm -hmm. And you share with her what you've learned from the diary too. Okay. So did you hear what I just said to him, Kate? Yeah. About the couple of different locations that were found. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I'm inclined to suggest that maybe this tower has some merit to it, um, since I figured we could go digging up, digging up some old corpse, but I don't really know much about corpses or why that might be at all special, so. Mm -hmm. So if she's in anthropology, that's that Bowen's thing, right? Really? It's more archaeology. Um, well, anthropology and archaeology in this, is there not, except there's not a separate one for archaeology, is there? Well, there's yeah. a separate one for Oh, is there? Oh, oh, okay, okay. There's, like, gotcha. the default is your one. Okay. okay. Um, what was that? Did you, what, what did you say? Oh, I was being a, uh, I was <laughs> being sorry. She was paying the attention. <laughs> <laughs> I was being a somewhat ignorant person. What did you say? <laughs> Something about archaeology. Oh, okay. Digging the tower. Digging the I tower. Knew that, I knew that you weren't, uh, I knew that you were anthropology, so I was like, oh yeah, that's that bone study, right? Mm. Oh. Uh -huh. Um, okay, so... So I just suggested that the tower might be a neat place to control. So we're at the what? The tower. Okay. The tower? Mm. An old tower. An old tower? The, yes. The an old, old tower, tower. An old tower near the river, about yes. a half mile to the south. Uh, Brian's interest in the tower is not explained. Okay. Let's go to the tower. Okay. So basically, you're driving back to the farmhouse. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you drive back. Um, the farmhouse looks a, the same. You're you're guessing the police have been here, um, but you don't see any evidence of it. Uh, and your best probably best thing to do is leave the car at the farmhouse and, and walk, follow the river south, and see if you can find this thing. Well, is there any convenient place we could say stow the car instead of? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want. There's um, this. Uh, it's pretty wild out in this area. You can find a copse of trees, mm -hmm. and um, kind of park the car there if you want. Mm -hmm. Well, would you mind too much if we were to say stow the car just in case the cops were to come back? Yeah. Okay. Right. So you find a place that's hidden from the road, but very close to it. 
and um, you put the car there. Um, you were talking about digging. Did you bring shovels or anything like that? Well, I didn't bring any shovels. So okay. I figured that uh, if we decided that his secret grave was important for some reason, unbeknownst to me, of course, um, then we could uh, figure all that okay. out later. Um, following the clues in the journal, you find uh, about 200 yards south of the from the riverbank, about a half a mile south of the farm, um, is the remains of a tower. The tower doesn't stand anymore. There's a foundation of stone. It's a ring of stone about 15 feet in diameter. And um, it's all filled in with dirt. The inside's filled in with dirt. Is this fresh dirt or dirt that's already got some grass growing It's on? dirt that's got grass growing on it, but the, um, the ground around the, there's ground like this, and then the foundation is actually, you know, about a foot high. And the dirt on the inside is also about a foot high. So it's it's actually a little higher than the surrounding area. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's my call talking. <laughs> um, so let's investigate the stone ring. Yeah, you look it over. Um, there are signs that people have been here. Uh, there's crushed down grass and stuff, mm -hmm. but you don't find anything out of the ordinary except for it's not usual for somebody to construct a tower just out in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. uh, the stone looks old, the stonework is old, like a couple hundred years old, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, if there was a tower here, it's been gone for quite some time. Uh, I said no. Could be. And the river, like I said, the river's about 200 yards um, to your west. So they can't do any kind of spot hidden thing? There's nothing to no. see. I'll okay. tell you that right. Uh, well, okay, yeah, do me spot hidden. Okay. No, I like innovation. I'll let y'all look around more carefully. 91. 91. <laughs> you spot nothing. <laughs> John, you can look around too. Well, Marlies, I think that my character might be uh, just kind of wandering around, you know, kind of like wandering around through the dirt of the on the inside of the tower, just kind of wandering around. So, yeah, a little spot check there. Yeah, go for uh, it. So give you a spot. Just because. Um, 92 out of 45. Wow. Nothing. No. <laughs> okay. So, you don't, there doesn't appear to be anything in the, in the tower area itself mm. that you can see. Somebody's been here. Um, and that seems evident within the last few months. But other than that, it's all, it's very quiet. It's actually starting to get a little dark. It's around supper time because it was several hours in the library. Mm -hmm. So um, it will be dark shortly, probably within an hour. Right now you're just starting to get, see the sun is just starting to, to lower towards the horizon. Mm -hmm. the, the river nearby is, sounds <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. That's okay. Well, I accidentally she, uh, my she, foot. She doesn't uh, like feet, so bumped. you probably barely oh, bumped her, yeah. and she was all like, I always kind of fidget my feet. That's okay. <laughs> you're okay. Why are you under the table? Um, <laughs> you're a good dog. Sorry about that. She has she does she does nip at people's feet sometimes. Uh, she never bites down, but it's more of a no no no. It's about all there is to it. So I like that she doesn't really bite people. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sorry. So um, what should we do? I don't know. Oh, give me an idea check. There we go. I'll give you an idea check. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I might uh, be inclined to kind of just wander around by the riverside a little. Okay. Thirty-five. He starts to wander down towards the river. Mm -hmm. And you, you're like, oh, wait, what do we do? <laughs> and um, you get a shrug from him, mm -hmm. and he's just tell me if, if I ever say your character does something and you don't want them to do that, you can let me know right away. Okay. And then he's he's got his hands in his pockets and he's just walking down towards the river. And he's just kind of looking around. Um, And uh, you can make me another spot hidden, so can you. <laughs> what? Oh, you want a little treat or something, because you... I get a um, 62 out of 45. I fail miserably. <laughs> okay. And she gets oh, a 20. 20. Uh -huh. You made it? Yes. Hooray! Finally. Finally. Okay, put a check next to it. <laughs> yeah, anytime you guys do some skill successfully, put a check next to it. Um, there's a there's a dark spot next to the river mm -hmm. with a lot of like brambles all around it, mm -hmm. um, and when you look, 
it's like almost a straight line from the from the rem remains of the tower to this spot on the river. And when you climb down there, you find there's a bunch of brambles. There's um, it's a big, it's a decent sized thicket. And um, when you push some of these aside, there's a tunnel behind it. Oh, let's go in the tunnel. You're <laughs> flying over me. Um, Yes, uh, it's dark in the tunnel. Uh, each of you can make me a luck check. I'm going to give you a bonus on the others, actually, John. So, uh... 56 over 80. 56 over 80? Yeah. Uh, you do happen in your purse to have a, an electric torch, a flashlight. Yay. John, you're getting a bonus to this. So tell me if you don't 33 make 33 out of 70. Oh, you made it. Okay, you, have, you always carry a flashlight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so you each have a flashlight. Now, electric torches in this time period are very delicate instruments. If you drop it, it'll probably break the bulb. Simple as that. Um, the, the batteries only last for maybe 20 minutes. So keep that in mind, too. Mm -hmm. Since you, you both basically pulled flashlights out mm -hmm. and then saw that the other one had a flashlight, and I'll throw this out for free, you're probably going to want to just use one so that your light will last as long as possible. Okay. Um, you shine your light in there and you start to move in. Who's going first and who has the flashlight? Um, Those are both. I'll have the flashlight and I go first. Okay. <laughs> Caitlin, <you're> so <laughs> progressive. There's your flashlight. That just represents that you have a light. Okay. Um, so you get your flashlight in your right hand. You're still holding your person in your left hand, correct? Uh -huh. um, it's a cave, but the roof is supported by old, heavy timbers. Mm -hmm. um, there's evidence of recent repair on some of these. And you can see a number of shoe prints in the mud on the ground. Um, so, yeah, um, it runs for about ten yards before it stops in a pair of thick oaken doors um, fixed with a very large antique lock. You still got that key, haven't you? Yes. You pull the key out. The key fits. Uh huh. Click clunk. <laughs> unlocks it. It like. It's like a big old padlock mm -hmm. and chunk, and you pull the chain out from between these, the, the handles of these two doors. Mm -hmm. um, you push it open, and you start shining your light in. It's a large chamber, larger, further than your light can shine. Mm -hmm. um, it's circular. It looks like it's circular from the walls as they move away from you. Um, and. Looking ahead, you can see that set into the floor are some iron grates. Um, you start to shine your flashlight around Caitlin, and you can count ten of them. There's ten of these iron grates. Okay. Uh, each appears to be about three feet across, and they're the bars in them are like like that far apart. You know, I mean, you could put an arm down in there. If you okay. Um, and just within the light of your flashlight, on the opposite end of the chamber is sorry this way. <laughs> is a wooden, another wooden door, uh -huh. or another set of wooden doors. Uh, near you, lying on the floor, is a long wooden ladder of rude construction. Mm. Are these kind of like grates, these great mm -hmm. things, are they in the wall, like? No, they're set in the floor. Oh, okay, they're in um, the floor, yes. and so I'm going to look down in the grate okay. to see what's going okay, on. Okay, so you step forward, uh, the first one's the room's about 80 feet across. You step forward and the first one's maybe 10 or 15 feet from the door. Right. You shine your light down there. Um, actually, are you trying to be quiet as you walk? Uh, yeah. Do, you have to sneak roll? do me a sneak roll. Yeah. Should I also do a sneak roll? It depends. Now, you haven't said you're doing anything yet, so I'm assuming she walked ahead and you're just kind of looking at this 62 room. 62 out, out of 30. Okay, you didn't make it. <laughs> You cross over and you, you're just about to one of these grates yeah. when all of a sudden this cacophony of ter terrify terrifying shriek starts to come up. It sounds like it's coming out of all these grates. It's, and you can both make me another sanity check. <laughs> you want to roll your sanity or less? Come on, somebody. 75, 75 out of 80. 80. <laughs> um, 22 out of 60. Okay, yeah. so it's, it's <laughs> terrifying, but you're both good, you're solid. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to continue to walk forward and shine your flashlight down in that? Yeah. Okay. You walk up and you shine your flashlight down. The th it looks like it's human shaped, but it's naked. Um, 
it the arms look like they bend the wrong way and the legs are somehow mut mutated uh -huh. uh, the face the eyes are not in the same alignment right. and its mouth is way too wide and it looks up at you and it licks its lips oh with this God. long pointed tongue and I'm gonna do a sanity check from you. Okay. Um, and drool comes right out, out the side of its face. Did you 14. make it? Darn it. That is. Zero again. Um, this is nothing. That is not, that, that is, you don't know what that thing is. That's not, it looks like a person, but it's obviously not a person. Right. And it's like howling and slobbering and like jumping up yeah. and almost making it to the grave. These the pits are about ten feet deep. This pit is about ten feet deep. You're uh -huh. guess I'm you're gonna guess that they're all the same. And the thing is like leaping, trying to get up to the grate and is, it can't make it. But it's getting close. It gets like this close. Um, yeah, terrifying, terrifying. Yeah. Are you? Oop. Yeah, I got. Oh well, no, I have yeah. goosebumps. Oh okay. Are but you cold or no. are you freaking out or creeped out? Creeping okay. Out. So that's what you see. Now, you heard the wail. Mm -hmm. so you saw her walk forward and shine a light down, and then how did you react to this thing? Um, I kind of give a little yelp and jump back. Okay, mm -hmm. that's exactly what you see then. Yeah, she, gives, she gives a little yelp and she jumps, she steps back from, from this grate. I kind of uh, run on over. I have my, uh, I have my pistol still kind of like, I have it ready, but it's in my pocket. I'm assuming that it's in your coat pocket. Yeah, yeah, so it's like Handy. Uh, and you have your flashlight <laughs> in another pocket. Are you, is your character left handed or right handed? Uh, left handed. Okay, left handed. So you got your gun in your left hand pocket, and I'm assuming your flashlight's tucked into another, actually, probably here, tucked up here. Um, there's a little <laughs> um, You walk over to her. Are you going to look down into that pit too? She's no longer shining the light down into it. Um, Caitlin, I'm going to assume that you're just kind of shining your light around the room again. Yeah. And you realize there's 10 more of these pits. Yeah. And, it's, it's and they're probably all again. inhabited. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna ask you, are you okay? What happened? <laughs> you hear this, this weird cries coming yeah, up. Kind of already a little freaked out. So. Well, there's something down there, but I don't know what it is. I'm it's like, not well, human. What, what is it? Did you take your gun out of your pocket? And it's, still, it's still in my pocket. Your hand's just on it? Yeah, I just okay. don't want to Sorry, make I'm sorry, her, keep uh, going. Too freaked out. It's a little for herself. <laughs> So I take your so I take your flashlight and uh, I go ahead and shine it down in there. Okay. Um, you, give, you give him the flashlight. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, right. um, what if he dropped it? Well, I still have one. Of my own. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, <laughs> but she doesn't know that. Wait, no, that's right. You guys both pulled flashlights out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, we better record. It. But she doesn't know. Okay, that. make me see any chat. You heard my description of this horrific, half-human, weird, disgusting thing. I made an eighty-nine out of. Oh, 68. you failed! Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, um, roll me a one, roll me a six-sided die. This is how much sanity you lose. <clears throat> oh, yes, five. Okay, awesome. This is going to be fun. All right, when you lose five points of sanity all at once, you might go temporarily insane. So what I need to from you is uh, you need to make an idea check. <clears throat> you want to fail this. You want to roll high. If you succeed, you make the connection. If you fail, your brain kind of like blanks out the worst of what you saw, so because so, the brain is having trouble handling this. Mm -hmm. So make me a roll, and you want to fail. You want this to be a high roll. Okay. All right, I got oh. 90 out of 75. Okay, so, so I make you do not go temporarily insane, um, but it is very disturbing. Five points is a lot of sanity losing one fell swoop. Uh, so uh, how do you react? What kind of a well, I jump back and I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck? Not, I didn't say fuck. Fuck wasn't in the vernacular at that point. So, oh, here, hold on.